The intention of this presentation is to familiarize you with the manual four opter as well as the Topcon and Marco automated four opters. We'll begin with the manual four opter. The purpose of today's uh, intro is to share with you the various component parts of the four opter and to make sure that you're prepared as you enter into the lab. Uh, first, uh, first of all, of all covering, covering the, the uh, lock knobs. The initial lock knob here on the arm is going to release the foreopter and allow it to swing into front of your patient. Always make sure that the lock, the lock knob is unlocked prior to moving the instrument. Next, you've got a lock knob here. This, by loosening it, will allow you to increase the panto of the foreopter, pushing it closer to the patient, or to increase the retro on the foreopter, bringing it away from the patient. Always, Always make sure, sure this that this lock knob is tightened as you begin your sequence. On the, on the top, the lock knob allows you to loosen and rotate the foreopter about the z-axis. This knob will simply change the uh, leveling of the foreopter, and you'll notice that there's a leveling bubble that changes as I loosen the knob. You want, you want the four opter to be level, level throughout your testing, testing with your patient. This knob will change and adjust your PD. Typically, the PD will be set at distance to begin with, and then as you move to near, you will simply rotate these two levers inwards, which will then give you a near PD. The typical change is going to be a three millimeter adjustment from distance to near as you rotate these levers. This, this knob is going to simply change, change where, where the patient's, patient's forehead rest is, is moving it out, pushing, pushing the patient, patient further away, away bringing, bringing the patient, the patient closer, closer to. to. Next, Next, we're looking at the, the uh, main, main adjustment. adjustment. Here, Here, this, this wheel, wheel will give you all of your various settings. settings. With, With the, the O in place, place that, that means that, that lens well is now open. open. The OC means that that lens well is now included. Plus minus 0 0.50 or 50 indicates you've introduced the cross cylinder lenses. Six prism diopter base up. pH is pinhole lens. Plus, plus minus, minus a twelfth of a diopter, diopter. Cross, cross cylinder lens, lens. Red, red lens, lens. Red, red maddox rod, rod horizontal. horizontal, red, red maddox, maddox rod, rod vertical, vertical. P, P stands for the polarized, polarized lens, lens if you happen to be using a polarized, polarized chart. chart, R, R stands, stands for retinoscopy lens. lens. This, this is typically, typically plus 1.50, but if you do not know that lens as specified by the manufacturer, it could be a plus 1.50 or a plus 2.00. By adjusting the wheel around the outside of the knob, you will make a three diopter change in the spherical power, rotating counterclockwise will give you three diopters of minus. Rotating, rotating clockwise, clockwise will give you three diopters of plus. To put eight diopters, uh, let's put three, um, three point five diopters of myopia with a half diopter of cylinder into the four opter axis one eighty. We'll start with putting three diopters of minus. Then we'll adjust in quarter steps by using the wheel on the side. Now we are at 3.50, spherical. We'll slide over here, adjusting the power with the cylinder power knob. Going clockwise will give you increases of half diopter. So 3.50 minus 0 0.50. And then by simply grasping the base of the knob and rotating, it'll allow you to change the axis on that. You'll notice on the wheel itself, the indicator is black. On the lens well, the indicator is white. 
we're going to put this minus 350 minus 50 axis 180. If I were to put 6 base up in front of this patient's eye using the actual prism, here you'll notice that the zero point is in the horizontal meridian. This tells us as we introduce prism, either base up or base down, by simply moving the indicator. Here we have six prism diopters base up. Here we have six prism diopters base down. We'll put it back at six prism diopters base up for our demonstration. If I wanted to introduce three prism diopters of base in, I would simply grab the wheel itself, rotate it, so that the zero is now in vertical position, and I would put the prism indicator base in towards the patient's nose. Now there's three prism diopters base in in front of this patient. The JCC lens is going to be this set of lenses, and we'll learn more about this as the term goes on. But the the JCC lens is going to be uh, it'll have the P with the red and the white indicators, and that concludes the introduction to the uh, four -octer. This is the intro to the Marco or NIDAC system. Um, on this particular instrument, we have the same locks. The arm lock, which will allow you to swing the foropter in front of the patient, locking it in place. This knob will allow you to loosen it, increasing the, the panto, or tipping the bottom of the instrument toward the patient, or retro, which would be um, increasing the distance between the bottom of the patient, or the bottom of the instrument and the patient's face. And then this is going to allow you to rotate the instrument among, around the z-axis. Um, on this particular instrument, the adjustment for the forehead rest is going to be here. And simply turn the knob to and away from the patient. Looking at the actual keypad to go over the various component parts, uh, this is a relatively intuitive uh, touchpad or touchscreen. Uh, various ways that you can do this. Right now, you'll notice that the instrument is highlighted on the spherical component of the, the prescription. The C stands for cylinder, of course, and then the A is for the axis. Add is for add power. At the bottom, you'll see a prism that's got a back and forth. That's going to be horizontal prism. And the up and down is going to be vertical prism. Let's simply walk through uh, to demonstrate the various pieces. Um, in checking one eye at a time, whether it be visual acuity or um, measurements, you simply click the occluder at the top, brings up this screen, you close the eye, and now you've occluded the right eye, the left eye is open. To unocclude, you simply go back and unocclude it. Right now, you'll notice that the link is off. This tells us that when we make a change in the power, it's going to change both eyes. Rotating the wheel towards the minus sign, or to your uh, clockwise rotation, will increase the minus. Rotating it the other way will increase the plus. You can also accomplish this by pushing the plus or minus sign. To do cylinder power adjustment, you simply press the C for cylinder. If you want to just correct, if you just want to change the cylinder for one eye, you can push this that particular eye. If we want to change it for the other eye now, we can do the same thing. If we want less cylinder, we add the plus. Okay. Right now, this patient's both of their eyes are open and we're adjusting the cylinder power individually. If I want to adjust the spherical power, it would be the same. Simply touch the eye. Axis, same. You can touch the A, it'll change both because they're both highlighted. It goes in five degree increments. 
If you choose to change it in something other than five degree increments, you'd simply touch here on the lower right hand side where it says step five degrees. It'll change it to one degree changes for you. You wish to change just one eye, highlight the eye. Both eyes again, highlight both eyes. If you would like to make it uh, such that any change you make is with um, both eyes open, but one eye being changed at a time, you can also do the link. And that is performed by pushing the button on the side. When you do that, it brings up the green screen. You push the link on or off. At this stage in the game, what we're able to do is make the change with the one eye. Prism, introducing prism, you simply push that uh, indicator whether you want horizontal or vertical. If you push the center, it's going to give you both, and you change both at the same time. If you want just one, of course, just click the one. It increases or decreases in half unit steps by rotating the knob or simply pushing the plus or minus. If you push the plus or minus sign, be noted, please have it noted that it changes in 0.1 diopter steps. Rotating changes in half diopter steps. The vertical prism will change opposite of one another. In other words, the left eye will change either base up or base down, and the fellow eye will change in the opposite direction. You'll notice the BU in front of the right eye and the B down, BD in front of the left eye. Changing the eye chart on this particular instrument will be located here on the side. You can simply select which one you want to change the chart to. And that concludes the very brief tutorial and introduction on the Marco slash Nidex system. This is a brief intro to the Topcon uh, automated four after system. Same uh, basic locks as before, the arm lock to swivel the instrument in front of the patient. The lock on top of here, which will allow you to either tip the bottom of the instrument closer to the patient or bring it further away from the patient, ensure that that's locked into place. The balancing of this particular instrument occurs with the knob on the side, and you'll notice that there's a level within the instrument. Changing the forehead rest is located with this knob here, and you'll see that you're able to move the instrument further uh, closer to the patient. If we were to look at the actual display of the instrument and how to change those settings, uh, it's very similar to the uh, NIDAC or Marco, and I apologize for the overhead glare here. Um, the instrument has got the Dial knob, it, it also has the plus and minus, very much like the Marco does. It also has the sphere, cylinder, and axis buttons, again like the Marco does. I did not point this out on the Marco instrument, but it also has a PD button. And when you push that PD button, it allows you to change the patient's PD as it's indicated here. When you push it, it blacks, uh, becomes black, which then allows you to begin adjusting the PD by changing the knob. To get back out of it, you push the button, and it disappears and it goes white again. At this stage in the game, if you're wanting to adjust the spherical power, if you want to adjust both eyes, you would push the S in the center. You'll notice both black out. That tells you you're ready to adjust the power in front of each. Again, like with the Marco, turning clockwise increases the minus. Turning counterclockwise on the knob increases the plus. You can also use the two buttons at the bottom. Uh, the minus button obviously will give you more minus, whereas the plus will give you more plus. If you want to do just one eye, again, just like the Marco, you push just the eye that you want to test. The other side grays out, and you're able to begin adjusting just that power. If you want to do cylinder, touch the cylinder. You'll notice that the side that's black is the side you're going to be adjusting. If you want both sides, again, you push right in the C in the center, and then you can adjust both.
The A is the axis. You'll notice that there's an indicator of 5 on there. That means it's 5 degree changes. If you want to change it and make it 1 degree increments, here on the lower left hand side of this instrument, you'll see it says step 5. If you push it now, you have 1 degree steps, and you're ready to begin changing it in 1 degree steps. Um, in terms of the add, that says you get ready to begin uh, adjusting or adapting for your patient's bipolar prescription. Adjusting the uh, visual acuity on your monitor, you can use the visual acuity buttons at the bottom, um, or you can simply touch the screen, isolating the letter, or if you want an entire line, uh, you can highlight the whole line. In terms of prism, introducing prism in front of our patient, you'll notice that we have a, a P or a H and a V. That's going to give you horizontal and vertical prism. If you push the H, you'll notice that the screen pops up and it shows horizontal prism is now in place, ready to be adjusted for both eyes as it is darkened for both sides. You'll notice just like the Marco, it changes in a half degree steps. If we were to use the plus and minus, it changes in, in uh, 0.1 degree step, uh, one half your steps. If we do the vertical, I'll push the V button. You'll notice everything has moved down to the vertical. And as we begin adjusting, one goes up, the other goes down. Because the vertical prism is summative, so in essence, it's very much like, again, the Marco. Using the plus and minus, Again, it will change it in 0.1 steps. And that summarizes the basic uh, lenses on the, the four octer, the uh, top gun four octer. As we get closer to using the JCC lens, um, we will begin introducing those.